misery and suffering and unhappiness, and it's all over much too quickly. The question is, have I learned anything about life? Well, good morning. If you haven't noticed, it's really cold here in Austin. I think the morning temperature, um, let's put the time in the date up, Greer. I think the morning temperature was uh, 15 when I woke up. And um, whew, my breath is taken away, not from walking, just from the cold. Not used to having it this cold. And uh, so it's probably in the 20s and it's gonna warm up. Today, you know, and blow through here, we don't get cold. It doesn't linger that long. But if you notice from the morning, I just got off the bus. I rode into the UT campus uh, with my lovely wife, Vicki Greer, who works on the campus. And I have a meeting today here. Uh, we can talk about that in a little bit. But the cooler part is it took me two episodes to really get to the 2018 heart of the matter. What do I want? right and uh, in case you missed it I'll, I'll give you the cliff notes real quick I'm recording with my phone right now and obviously I'm not getting what I want because it is past 8 o'clock in the morning and I want my phone to ring but if you're rooting for me at home and you're following along so to speak what I want is my phone to ring and for me to have an abundance of opportunity uh, a friend of mine was watching it last night as a matter of fact his name is Rob McCarthy I'll put it up here as one of my insurance buddies And uh, he was uh, somebody I really wanted to meet because he's nailing it with local search for his market. He's up in New York. I don't know the exact town I should, but uh, anyway, he does contractors insurance and he's written some great blog posts and he is getting people calling him just like I want. And uh, I met him, I met him uh, in the fall of 2017 at an insurance call, conference called Grow, which is uh, not really that relevant to you, but the point is I met him and I'm going to put a little footage in here of, of that experience so you can, uh, can, you can kind of see. What I learned from that conference, the most important thing that I learned was what I don't want to do, right? I'm in a room with 50, I don't know, 50, I'm going to say 50, maybe, maybe it was 75 other agents like me all across different states doing different things. A lot of people having the same struggles, a lot of people having different struggles. But what I realized is my ideal client profile, because I'm here in Austin, is a little different than the average bear, i.e. being, I don't mind working with startups. I like it. I like that culture. I like the tech. I like growth. I like, I like kind of understanding scopes of work and translating that into how we can best protect them with insurance. But the point is, it was amazing how much that got clarified for me. And, uh, and that's what I took away from that. And not only clarified about as far as what I wanted to do, but also clarified from a perspective of how I need to do it to get this phone to ring. So that's what we're on a mission for today is to kind of talk through that and, uh, and uh, we'll see where that goes. So today is the first day of school on the UT campus and you can see people scurrying around. Uh, if you can imagine, I wish I had a B-roll camera. I've got a selfie stick out, but man, is it a beautiful day? And uh, my meeting, let's shift gears. My meeting is right here behind me at the University of Texas Club. Is that gonna show up? Let's see if I can go wider so we can get the whole shot. This is just the little marquee. So the University of Texas Club there it is, is a club core 
uh, business club is what they call it. So there's no golf course associated with it, but University of Texas allows them to put it inside of the stadium, right? And uh, there's some unique advantages there. I'll show you some footage on the inside, but it is open. You don't have to be a member of UT or you know a student or a faculty, although those people do join. Um, it's like a network. It's like a business networking, and they have lunches and happy hours and networking events and cool things, and uh, it's just kind of cool. So anyway, I've got a lunch there today. Let's just get going. I'll catch I'll catch up with you on the flip. friends T Greer back this is my friend Woody howdy and uh, we just finished having lunch it was a good lunch mm -hmm. you had a good lunch excellent I'm excellent. not keeping you in frame so anyway so uh, I wanted to introduce you take a moment to introduce you to my friend Woody because he is I would I would call you a professional filmmaker or um, he does I'm, video and I'm, I'm gonna a let him talk to him. video producer I mean I think that's uh, probably the most generic way to talk about what I do I'm a, I'm a professional video producer and uh, videographer, lighter, mm -hmm. uh, cinematographer, yes, cameraman. But the reason why I'm highlighting him, we had lunch today. We had a great, dude. Do we not? We had like an executive lunch today. Like it's it was probably, sweet, man. I'll put the time up here, but I, it's probably like two and a half hour lunch. Oh, absolutely. We absolutely. just didn't. We just didn't have martinis, but no, we should have had no, martinis. No, no, no. So that does not make it an executive lunch. <laughs> Uh, okay. So anyway, the point the point of why I wanted Woody to talk to you a little bit is that he has started uh, for 2018 a, uh, a new company mm -hmm. where he helps realtors uh, do property walkthroughs with video. Right. I'm going to shut up and let him talk now. Right. So yes, Terry, you're right. So uh, the company is called ATXRealEstateVids.com. That's extremely original, right? So really, what it is, it's videos that help realtors sell houses and they don't need any technical experience at all to do it uh, and it's extremely affordable so all the video equipment is obviously professional the the the, the equipment it stabilizes all the video aerial footage um, on-screen graphics and uh, instantly posted to YouTube so all you have to do is um, take the link that I give you and use it wherever you want. And so everything is done for you, and it's four forty nine for the entire package. Damn, he dropped a price on us. So it's extremely affordable. I just really want to give uh, more realtors the opportunity to use video in their property marketing because up until now it's been eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars. Uh, to do something like this, mm -hmm. but it really doesn't need to be that expensive because the tools nowadays have simplified the entire process quite a bit. Um, and I've been doing it a long time, and so I can, uh, you know, make this affordable uh, for a lot more realtors. So, yes, that's it in a nutshell. recording what's going on happy friday to you guys hope you're doing well so uh, it's friday afternoon late in the day waiting to pick up my lovely wife and i had a little time in the domain i'm gonna go see the mothership they just opened this beautiful store right here on the corner in the domain it's always a ton of people so let's go in hope you're doing well hope you had a great week thank you so much for uh, everything you do
locked up. I'm right here. I don't know how good this is going to do, but uh, thank you for coming along and watching me fish a little bit. I'm hoping my mic works. I'm sure it does. I'm going to get a new cast. I'm going to show you the bait I'm working with. I'm working with an interesting little worm. It's slow. I saw a bass in here. We're, we're at Brushy Creek inside of Round Rock. And uh, it's a beautiful little body of water. It's probably about four or five feet deep. Definitely bass in here. I've seen online people catching bass in here. There's catfish. There's perch, obviously. There's all kinds of stuff in here. But we're going to catch a bass. So I've been fishing for about... Oh, good cast. I've been fishing for about um, maybe 45 minutes. Hadn't even got one bite. So that's not too cool. But uh, just thought I'd bring you along a little bit. Terry Greer fishing, Brushy Creek. I'll put the date up. It'd be kind of cool to catch a fish on camera. Just one fish. Didn't have to be a big one. Scrawny little bass that's trying to get a little food. Can I get just one rib? Interesting thing about fishing, probably the majority of the time when I've caught a fish is I haven't overly been paying that much attention. Hate to say it, but I, I got my headphones in like I do now. Probably listen to a little music. I'm just doing my little routine. Jason Madison uh, found this book called Go For No. You can Google it, go to YouTube. There's great videos about it, just buy the book. Uh, but the idea is instead of worrying about yes, the most successful uh, is changing your mindset, uh, essentially, right? You have to get a hundred no's, which are painful, to get to that one yes. And most of the time you only remember the yes. And I'm going to translate that to fishing, right? So right right now, I don't know how many casts I'm making. I'm, I'd love to count that one time with a little clicker. But essentially, I've got to go for no. I've got to cast this son of a gun maybe an hour to get me one fish and if I don't cast for an hour if the bait's not in the water I certainly ain't gonna catch a fish so I'm faithful to the process knowing that eventually I'm gonna catch this fish and why do I know I'm gonna catch a fish because I've used this exact worm this exact rod and reel in the exact area and a fish has jumped on you know maybe they're all gone but I doubt it uh, and I've had success where I have the faith that I have success right so you go for no and so we use this software called pipe drive which is really awesome for sales if you're a salesperson and you have not looked at pipe drive it is a very powerful and inexpensive like Salesforce um, you know it's probably the most popular one and it's very customizable. I'm sure, I'm sure it's badass enterprise level. But if you're a single solo guy and you don't want our gal and you don't want to set up the whole thing, I'm talking Salesforce and you just want to be able to have the mobile app is extremely powerful and uh, it's just great. So, um, so my grandfather used to tell me that when cows, you look at the animals. I don't know if you, have you ever heard this on fishing. I have no idea, but that if the animals are up eating then they're in a rhythm of eating and maybe the fish are biting too. And if the, if the animals are laying down and are more relaxed, like, hey, they're chilling out, then they're not interested in eating and probably the fish are not interested in eating either. I don't know what cows and fish have to do with each other, but that's what he told me. Maybe that was just a nice little, let's tell, let's tell my grandchild who's like five years old some bullshit. <laughs> ah. Looks like the fish aren't cooperating, my friends. Essentially, how I feel about life full of loneliness and misery and suffering and unhappiness, and it's all over much too quickly. The question is, have I learned anything about life? <laughs> <laughs>